there have been many times over the years when people have said to me, I'm just one of life's warriors, Doc. And it's true, I think, that we all are somewhere different along the spectrum, whether it's completely laid back and horizontal at one end or a bit of a stress bunny at the other. But also we need to take into account that even if we think of ourselves as a very calm person or tending to be a more anxious person, depending on what's going on in our lives, we can all find ourselves in different situations from time to time. I'm going to start this section by saying something that you may find slightly controversial, and that is that we all need stress in our lives. Stress is really important. It's important for our survival. It's part of our evolutionary mechanisms. So, for example, tens of thousands of years ago, you would have needed a, a fight or flight response, a stress-induced response, to get away from the hungry predator that was chasing you. Perhaps a more modern equivalent is to catch that bus that you're running late for, or that difficult last-minute work deadline. The fact is you do need some stress in your life. The issue is perhaps not so much the stress itself, but our response to it, and whether that's a short-term appropriate response or a long-term chronic response. And it's the long-term response that's the difficulty. When we go into fight or flight mode, we have levels of cortisol and adrenaline surging around our bodies. And if that continues and doesn't settle down as it should, then this can result in a, a pro-inflammatory state within the body and an increased risk of long-term conditions like heart disease and mental health problems, even cancer. And so the good news, though, about all of this is that actually we can take back a degree of control. You've probably been there where you've been anxious, had a difficult time in your life, and before you know it, things can start to spiral out of control. You start with one negative thought, leads on to another and another, and before you know it, you're feeling panic-stricken. But actually, you can take back control of your body and your emotions as a result. And what may come as a surprise to you is that thoughts can follow actions and there doesn't need to be the other way around. I used to imagine that in order to do something differently, you had to have a shift in mindset first to then behave in a different way. But actually the good news that neuroscience demonstrates to us is that if you start to do things differently, that in turn can then feed positively into how you think and how you behave as a result. Uh, a good example of that are breathing exercises. If we do some breathing exercises to help us relax, where you typically take a short inhale and a longer, slower exhale, that triggers your parasympathetic nervous system, which is more, which puts the brakes on the fight or flight mechanism that you get with the sympathetic nervous system. And as a result, you can then feel better and calmer. So here are my top tips for relaxation. Some of them we have already covered, so they'll be quite quick to go through. So get a good night's sleep, eat well, be physically active, get out in nature. Uh, the Japanese have a term for it, they call it forest bathing, and there is reasonably good scientific evidence which demonstrates the improvement in health outcomes in those who are able to uh, enjoy nature. Another thing I really recommend is the practice of gratitude. Thinking each day of one, two or three things that you are grateful for can be really beneficial to your mental health. Um, we have a lot of tailwinds, and by that I mean even if life is tough, there are still things that you have in your background, behind you, in your history, in the environment that you live in for which you can be grateful. It's easy sometimes to forget about those, but the conscious act of naming those each day, even if it's just the relationship that you have, the job you're looking forward to doing that day, the sunrise, um, the nice meal that you ate, that conscious identifying those things and being grateful for them can have a really beneficial effect on your mental health. Nurture your friendships as well. I compare friendships to plants in a garden. Some are flowers or trees that need planting, watering, nurturing, growing, maybe a bit of pruning. Uh, and some relationships, to be honest, are a bit toxic and a bit more like weeds and they probably need uprooting. So think about that. What do you want more of and what do you perhaps need less of in your life? Think also about being kind to yourself. You can't really be kind to others if you don't show kindness to yourself. And the comparison I often make is to the instructions you get given when you're on a plane and you're told that in the event of an emergency landing, oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling and you should first put your own mask on before helping other people. Think also about what is in your control and outside of it. It is very easy, particularly in dark times, to think of all the things that you have no control over whatsoever and you find very stressful, but you can't change those things. Try to focus instead on the things in your life that you can, which can allow you to make a positive difference. 
And perspective is really important as well. No matter how grim the situation, generally speaking, for almost all of us all of the time, this too shall pass. And it's just worth reminding yourself that there is generally light at the end of the tunnel. And finally, I would really recommend the practice of being present, being in the moment, not distracted, not thinking about other things, but enjoying the moment for what it is, whether it's a conversation with a friend, a walk that you're doing, a nice meal that you're eating. The practice of mindfulness dates back thousands of years and it's practiced by those with and without uh, religious affiliations. There's good evidence for significant health benefits and it's easily available in terms of the information out there about it. You could download apps such as Calm or Headspace or look at uh, free videos on YouTube.